what do we mean when we talk about the American Midwest? Are we referring simply to a landscape? Are we referring to open fields, long highways, a particular accent? Are we talking about a culture, a society, a way of living distinctly different from the coast? Geography is significant not only for what it is physically, but also for what it invokes in human beings. Our responses to geography are important. What we think of the geography, how we feel when we are in different environments or landscapes, and how we perceive ourselves in the grander scheme of the geographic world are all important features of our response to geography. The Midwest possesses unique geographic features, and the Midwest is frequently defined not only by those features, such as flatter land, open landscapes, pocketed cities, and extended stretches of farmland, but is also defined by how the people in those environments react to the geography. Kent C. Ryden, in his essay, Writing the Midwest, defines this sense of self in response to the geography as regional identity. He states that while other regional identities tend to locate in terms of a limited number of well-known figures and events from the past and is generalized to the larger region as a whole, the Midwest, he writes, is discerned on a more limited, place-by-place -place basis in terms of more local events and personages. Ada is a distinctly Midwest town, and its regional identity is very unique. There is a wealth of potential for writers and artists to find meaning in the unique Midwestern geography and unique identity. But what does it mean to write about the Midwest, or in particular, Ada itself? It's very much a kind of a working class aesthetic, um, a commitment to, to kind of uh, illustrating and embodying what it means to be a kind of working class poet uh, or writer in, a, you know, a sort of post-industrial landscape. And but do you believe that since your experience with Ada, even, even only working here for two years, it's always been sort of utilitarian, like it has this, it has this, it mm -hmm, has this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think even if we had a fellowship program that a writer would be able to get at anything unique because of Ada? or they would just sort of get the Midwest and it wouldn't be Ada writing. I think it would be absolutely unique. Yeah, I think writers are able to find interesting things about about their surroundings wherever they are. It doesn't matter if they're in the middle of Chicago or in the middle of Antarctica um, or in the middle of Ada. They'd be able to find something interesting to say and through observation, right? Like all writers are observers in certain ways. So if there was a writer who came in here, stayed for a semester and was given the project of almost acting as a, um, you know, a creative representation of what Ada is, what it does, how it functions, and why, I'm, I know interesting things would emerge from that, right? We would, we would learn more about Ada um, through how a creative writer would observe it okay. um, than I think we could in, in, in many other different kinds of forms. Ada, like many in Western towns, clearly possesses various elements that are very appealing to certain writers. In the past, Ohio Northern has been able to attract such prominent and prize-winning authors as John Updike and Joyce Carol Oates. Recently, however, the prominence of the authors has decreased. Is there a reason for that? Is it because ONU is simply not promoting its Midwestern uniqueness enough? Or is it something a little simpler? Money. Ada is certainly a beautiful Midwestern town and is easily recognizable as a place that could grant a Midwestern regional identity. However, the university has a limited budget, and just because the prominence of the writers at the tracks are nearly as were in the 80s, doesn't mean that ONU and Ada do not recognize what is definitively unique about their Midwestern geography.